had not yet shared with her, so she decided to go out on her own to give him a night to remember. She did not tell him where she was taking him. They kissed hello and were off to an unknown destination. They arrived at what looked like a small hotel. But there were no signs out front. It still remained a mystery to him. She greeted the man at the door and was given a key after giving her name. It still looked like a hotel, but there was loud music playing and scantily clad couples walking through the hallways. They found their way to a room and she put the key in the door. When she unlocked the door, he was surprised to see a mirrored room with only a couch and a bed. There were mirrors on the ceiling and on the walls. He had never seen a room like this and asked her what kind of hotel this was as it seemed so strange to him. She advised him that it wasn't a hotel at all, but she had paid the membership for them to a sex club. She knew that he had always wanted to fuck her in the front of a mirror, and now he would get the chance. She let him know that if he wanted to, they could also open up the side window so that others could view them as they fucked. He had never heard of such a place, but he couldn't resist but to grab her and kiss her passionately. He left the window closed for now, and he unzipped her dress. It fell to the ground, and everywhere he looked, there she stood in the mirrors. He backed her up against the wall of mirrors. They kissed as he fondled her breasts and her breathing became faster as he slid his fingers under her panties. She was so wet. He pulled, her panties and flung, pulled off her panties and flung them across the mirrored room. He knelt down to taste her. She moaned as he rubbed and licked her clit. He grabbed her thighs and licked her inner thigh before standing up to get undressed himself. She pushed him down onto the couch and sat on his lap facing him. Her wetness on his cock made him want to fuck her immediately, but they had the room for a couple of hours, so she rubbed his cock on her pussy, but would not permit him to enter her, not yet. She leaned over and nibbled on his earlobe and kissed his neck. As she was naked, riding him and kissing him, he was mesmerized by watching her in the mirrored wall behind them. He began to beg her to let him inside of her, if just for a moment. She, per she permitted him as she slowly put his cock inside of her and kissed him. He was not permitted to fuck her fully, just to be inside of her as they kissed in the mirrored room. He wrapped her legs around him and picked her up and moved her to the bed. He laid her down and stood next to the bed so that she could suck his cock. He decided that he would open up the windows to let others, to let, him, let the others watch him fuck her. So he opened the window up for the world to see their playroom of mirrors. He went back to standing at the side of the bed as she spit on his cock. He watched overhead as she put it all the way into her throat. She gagged a bit at first. But she was soon taking it in and out of her mouth, licking up from his balls and running, running her tongue around the head of his cock. He could see her doing this everywhere around the room, and then noticed the viewing window had gotten rather crowded. She stroked his cock using both of her hands as she combined stroking and sucking until he just had to be back inside of her. He got, on her knee, he got her on her knees and thrust into her as he sat on his knees behind her. He pulled her hair back as he fucked her. He looked at the mirror in front of them so he could watch them together. She rubbed herself as he fucked her. As she came, he could feel her pulsating and throbbing, and he was able to watch her as she came. He moved her to the edge of the bed and stood next to it as he thrust back inside of her. He watched all around him, briefly at the images of being able to see himself fucking her from all angles of the room. He grabbed her tits and bent her over to kiss her as he thrust deeply into her. He pulled her up to sitting so he could hold her as he came deep within her. He had forgotten about their audience, but closed the window after he came as he was tired of the voyeurs. He didn't want anyone but them to be part of the closeness of holding her after. She laid on his chest and looked up at themselves in the mirror. They were sweaty and a mess, but he thought she had never looked better. Since it was a private club, they were even able to have a smoke and watch the smoke drift around the mirrored room. Magic. Thank you.